And hello, wherever you're watching, welcome to North London. I'm Derek Ray, ready here in the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and commentary midfielder, Stuart Robson. And the general feeling is we should be in for a spellbinding occasion. It is Tottenham Hotspur, and they take on Sheffield United. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And Spurs will go with this starting 11. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Hyung Min Son plays with Dejan Kulusevski out wide. And the main striker today is Harry Kane. Here's how the lineup looks for Sheffield United. John Egan plays alongside Jack Robinson in central defence. Oliver Norwood starts alongside Sander Berge in central midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. And so the battle commences. Kane. Eve Bisuma has it. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. Nicely timed tackle. And Stuart, there's good reason to believe that Harry Kane's incisive presence could represent the difference today. Well, Derek, he's certainly going to be the key player today. Last time out, he scored those two goals, but it was his general oh, play. Oh, Stuart, they've got to score! And a goal! That is a very bright start. Perfect way to open. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power, but just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. He's given it straight to the opposition. Kane, Dejan Kulusevski, now Harry Kane, and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end, skip, Son, We're putting it wide from there, a pity, really. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. Bisuma in position. Foiled by the post. Well, had that gone in, the game was firmly in their hands. Now, though, they've got to make sure they don't let this slip. Running with the ball confidently. Will the owner of the red car obstructing the main entrance please remove the car as soon as possible? Thank you. Well, just the tackle that was needed. Wonderfully weighted pass. And 
the ball sailing over everyone in the center. And they need to get tighter here. But a crucial intervention inside the box. Kane. Skip. It's with Porro. Disappointing pass. Max Lowe. And that is how to block. Bisuma. Now Ben Davis. Hyung Min Son. Eve Bisuma has it. Perfect challenge. But on the verge of the half time interval, it's so far so good for Spurs. Stuart, interested to get your thoughts. Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here, but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half time. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. Son. Davis. No more time left. That is it for the first half here at the home of Tottenham. I think most fans would be pretty happy with it. A potentially riveting 90 minutes. So here we go, into the second half at the home of Tottenham Hotspur. Kane. Eve Bisuma has it. And they did have the ball, but not anymore. Davis. Son. A danger here as he runs at them. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Jack Robinson. Berge. Now McBurney. Read it superbly to take back possession. Davis. Kane. Son. And he's through here. Harry Kane, master finisher. So back underway with the lead standing at 2 0. Oliver McBurney firing it towards goal. Tremendous block. Well, there it is. Spurs have controlled the possession and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attacking football and they look like scoring more. And the substitution will occur now. Son. Kane. Now Dyer. They've chosen to go through Harry Kane. Options around him. Oh, in with a chance! And a goal! He's doubled his total for the day in superb scoring form! Well, 
here it is again, and they've taken their goal well, but the defending was non-existent. That should never happen. So underway once again, and Tottenham really in the mood. Oliver McBurney. Nicely timed tackle. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Kane. The supporters want to see him have a go. Looking for the angle. A goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat-trick. Well, here it is again, and the defending simply isn't good enough. They have to react quicker, deal with the danger, and show more urgency. None of which they did, and that's the result. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Bergen. Norwood. I'm not testing the keeper at all with that effort. Could be a chance to break here. Will they profit from this situation? Real chance! The importance of that tackle cannot be overstated. Well, as the second half draws to a close, plenty for Spurs fans to be cheerful about. Well, what an excellent performance this has been. They've had complete control for most of the game. Their movement, clever passing and energy have been a joy to watch. It's been a really good win for them. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. And he's made headway. Oh, right in the nick of time. And there goes the final whistle. The overall story is a happy one for Tottenham because they get the three points from this game. What did you make of it? Well, Derek, they were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances. We saw an attack which was always threatening. And they played really well. What a performance that was today.